Hi, my name is Ernest, and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to start off with Ajax Search Pro after you installed it. So in the previous tutorial I showed you how to in install the plugin, and now we are going to start to use it. So to start off, go to the Ajax Search Pro menu, and here uh, a form comes up where you can create a new search bar. I'm just going to name this Search and click on the Add button. Congratulations, you have created the very first search bar. Now, uh, clicking on the gear icon, you can access all of the settings. There's plenty of videos and documentation explaining all of these. So what we're going to do now is focus on how to place this search bar, this default search bar, uh, to your website. Uh, if you want to preview it, on the bottom right corner, you, although you can't really see it from my view, okay, here, there's a green show button. If you click on it, this is the default layout. If you uh, do an empty search just hitting by uh, space bar, you can... Uh, see the, the, the default results, which are posts and pages. Okay, let's hide this. Let me go back to my place now. <laughs> there it is. And now let's see how we can place this uh, to the site front end. Uh, if you're using a block theme like I do here, you can just use the search block. So let me just show you how that works. Uh, I'm just going to go with edit site, but although it works anywhere. And let me see if I can like put it here, although I don't know if that's a good idea, maybe. Maybe here, just search Ajax Search Pro, and all right, this is just a little bit too big. Is there a way I can like change the width here? Not really. Can I put it somewhere else? I'm just gonna try to put it before the menu. Maybe. Let's go. Let's go. If let's see if this works. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's a little bit cluttered, but hey, you can put it there. Uh, in before the menu, if I were to change the width, okay, let me just do that. I've said I'm not going to do configuration, but let me go to the theme and styling options and uh, let's set a uh, fixed search width. Let's go with like 200 and maybe 300 pixels uh, to every device. Okay, it doesn't really matter now. I'm just going to change it and this should unclutter. Yeah, there you go. And now we have a nice header search bar. So yeah, this is what I wanted to show you. I, I should have just placed it into a post. And actually, I can, I can, I can put it here as well. Let me just show you that the same search bar, you can be placed multiple times. So let's go Ajax Search Pro. Let's go with the search ID number one. Let's save this. And okay, where was I? View post. And here we have it in both places working independently. Of course, you can create multiple many search bars. So I could just go back here, Ajax Search Pro, create another search bar and put it there. If you're not using a block theme, you can still use the search shortcode. Most modern editors uh, inherit these blocks, so like you can use those. But if not, you can just use a shortcode block. And shortcode blocks are really simple to use, like Elementor, Divi, whatever, they all have modules where you can place that, or you can even place that into text blocks. Uh, for example, if I were to go back to the Hello World, I think you were, if I were just uh, add like a short code block, I think there is a separate short code block. There we go. That should work. And maybe even the paragraph. I'm not, not uh, exactly sure. I've never tried this, to be honest with you. Uh, if I were to just put it, okay, it automatically recognizes as a short code. Okay, if I just copy paste, see, it's a short code. There we go. So if we go here, see, now I have many, many search bars. So yeah, that's, that's how you do it. I hope this explains how to, you know, create a new search bar and move it to the, the front end of your website. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, leave a like and subscribe, and I see you in the next one. Have a nice day. Bye.